What is up, everybody? Murray and Jay Await is here with the beginning and start of what is going to be an epic, ongoing playthrough, an episodic playthrough by episode. That is right. This is my long, long return to No Man's Sky, the giant, giant open world game that has been through it all, been through the ringer, criticized. Well, I should say loved, criticized, then loved. No Man's Sky. Um, Sean Murray is a beautiful man. Love his name. Sean Murray. Um, created this masterpiece with Hello Games. And he lived up to his promise. You know, it must be his name, Sean Murray. You know, he loves giving back. Love that guy, Sean Murray. And I told people, I says, I'm going to be doing an ongoing series called No Man's Sky with Sean Murray. Well, guess what? Here I am. I'm here. <laughs> um, I lived up to the promise. I am here with you playing No Man's Sky. So when you come on here and say, hey, listen, I thought you said you're going to be playing No Man's Sky with Sean Murray. I'm him. I'm Sean Murray. <laughs> um... I can't wait. I am starting a brand new playthrough from scratch. Scratching all the old playthroughs, scratching my old progress, hours and hours, doing it for you. Um, hold on, guys. I'm getting a text through my smartwatch here. And it's going to be an awesome episodic playthrough. Let me jump through here and show you guys what I'm doing here. Uh, hey, guys, what's up? Everybody's so excited here. Um, this is episode one, of course. One of many, because this is a massive game, plus with all the updates. So we're playing the latest version. Uh, and everything that... Um, Everything has changed since my early playthroughs of this game, which is almost like going to be like a new game now because Sean Murray has put so much into this game. As you know, through the years, they have come out with so many free expansions. Um, this game has just gotten massive. The vision that Sean Murray had in the beginning of the creation of this game is now pretty much in the game now, and he's still um, talking about future stuff. So we're going to be doing a normal, uh, brand-new playthrough from scratch, if you're new to, to No Man's Sky and you have no idea about the game, <laughs> you are in for a treat, my friend. This is like Minecraft meets... I don't... I don't, I don't even know after the Minecraft part where to begin. I mean, it's building, creating, but it's also open world shooting, monsters, space. It's everything. Um, this is... A creative outlet to let your mind go, but also, um, you know, a constant, you got to watch your back. You could do creative mode, but we're going to be doing normal mode. I think that'll be fun. All right, let me get my headset on here. We're going to start this game because this is just going to be the intro first part of a, a very long series. I'm going to be trying to go back to this, I don't know, weekly, monthly. You know how I am with ongoing series. Um, we're in the midst of a um, huge hardcore gaming season here and uh, new game systems coming out and whatnot. So we're going to be juggling this along with a lot of other things. And I got a lot of other ongoing series going on, such as Skyrim, Minecraft, Call of Duty, The Division, you know, Zelda, a lot of other things. Oh, you're kidding me. How do you play how do you play this game without a controller? Let me go get that. I'm actually charging it. My DualShock 4 is actually currently sitting on the controller. <laughs> I 
It's been so long since I touched this game, I don't even remember what's what. So you guys are going to be in for it the same as me. You're either going to be reliving it with me or re-reliving it with me. All right, guys, welcome to episode one. No Man's Sky with Sean Murray. Woo, let's do this, baby. Oh, they have a... You could play this with VR, too. I've done it. It's wild. I love this, the, the credits. Now, here's, here, here's the thing, guys. If you don't know, if you're new to this, which many of you, I'm sure, will be, they will put you on a random planet out of millions. Um, the atmosphere is endless. And the conditions of the planet will be random. You will, you might be stuck with a great planet with great oxygen, great resources. You might get stuck with you might get stuck with you know a dead planet. You might get stuck with a great planet, and in your beginning, first starting planet is crucial to how you start the game. Let's see. <laughs> it's like a needle in a haystack with this game because it's so massive. Well, it looks like we're on a cold planet from what I could see. This game is very, very involved. I don't know what I was skipping there. Oh boy, see? I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna. They, they stuck me on a real dangerous planet. So they they basically put me in the work extreme cold damage detected. This game is so involved and hard to get started. They basically put me in the worst fucking possible planet you could imagine. Like like the like the worst possible planet you could imagine. 
for the beginning of this, this series. I can't even see. So, you could... No sh fucking shit. You put me in a fucking... You fucking put me in a dangerous fucking planet with no fucking resources or a fucking ship. And without my scanner, I have no idea where my ship is. Oh, shit. All right. Good luck. Good. We got... Hold on. This is good. We got lucky here. If I can make it without dying. Hold on. We got big luck here. I don't see my ship, but I see a fucking station here. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Too bad. Hold on, guys. Fuck. I'm right here, too. Oh, my God. This is not that. This is not even a joke. This is extremely rare to come up to one of these. Here, 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 here. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I made it! <sighs> oh my god. I cursed myself in the intro to this video. I said... Hopefully they won't put me in a fucking date. This is like, they don't get any worse than this. Alright, hold on here. Alright, multi-tool, right? I want my scanner. Okay. Repair the scanner. Alright, repair scanner. 65 of 75. I need 10 more. Oh. But that's okay. That's okay. See, usually what you do is in this game is when you when you find a dangerous planet, hopefully, luckily, you'll find your broken down ship that doesn't work, but you can get inside of it to get out of the, the temperature. I found one of these HUDs, which is very rare. I got very lucky. Now, I can't go far. All right, so what I need to do is... Get carbon. I'll explain everything later. Right now I gotta right now I gotta hustle. Damage container. Okay. 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 Yeah, I shouldn't really I shouldn't really be messing around here. I should be looking for for rock. Here we go. This should do it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. This is going to suck for exploring, 
What I should do is, well, you'll, you'll, you'll see, but once I get my fucking ship up and running, I should get the fuck out of this planet as soon as possible. Because there's no, there's no room for exploring. It's very difficult in a planet like this, and, and you don't know what planet you're heading to. You get, you could go to a hot planet. <clears throat> is there a person in here? There is. I don't have any money right now. It's the beginning of the game. Bad time to be meeting this guy. Usually you don't meet these guys till later. Carbon. Carbon's good. Alright, how do I... How do I change camera? Anybody know? How many times I've played this, but... I think they changed it. Okay. Oh, this guy's glitched or something. Oh my god. All right. Good. Good. Reach the mark signal. You know what it, you know what it is, right? The mark signal is probably going to be the ship, but it's it's going to be so far away. How do we charge? Oh, we got to charge, right? What is the charge on this? We got a decent charge, so we don't have to charge this yet. <clears throat> Pulse engine, once we get to the ship. The launch thrusters. See, we're going to need ferrite. We're going to need hydrogen jelly. But all a lot of this stuff we can make... What I got here? I got the um, sodium, carbon. We gotta stock up on stuff. Life support. You'll 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 figure this out as we go. This this is an involved game. I'm in a rush right now because I'm trying to fucking survive. Oh good, good, good. Call Starship. No, it doesn't. No, we can't do it yet. <laughs> Ain't gonna be that easy, Sean. All right, reach the marked signal. Execute exosuit detected automatic broadcast signal. Use the scanner to highlight key resources. Yep. Trying to see which one I went into. Uh, this is going to be a problem. Alright, we got to hustle. Where is it? It's this way, right?
See, I'm trying to get resources as I'm traveling. But at the same time, I don't want to die out here. But we're going to need all this stuff for our shit. Okay. Well, look at this thing. It's a crazy game, man. This is the worst possible situation you could be in. Because normally, if you're on a friendly planet, you could take the time, you could loot, you could learn the, the, the system, you could learn the UI, you could learn the inventory. Right now, you're like, you know, as you can see the corners of my screen, how they're being, how they're frozen. So you're. You know, you don't have a lot of time. So you're trying to learn the game in the very beginning, but you're also fighting for your life, trying to find resources, trying to figure out the menu system, which is very intricate and involved, as you, as you can see. Um, ah, oh, my weapon charge depleted. Hmm, multi-tool. Multi-tool, where is it? Multi-tool, charge. Uh, why isn't it charging? Okay. I don't have the right mining tool for some of this stuff. As you can see, my scanner is picking up other resources, but my main one is that red dot there. I see it. All right, hopefully that's my ship. Yep. Yep. All right, we're, we're safe. We're safe, guys. It's easy sailing, son. Because cause we can go in and out of the ship to get out of the weather. But we could work on the ship at the same time. And we could also use the ship as storage for things, too. So it works for multiple purposes, especially especially this early on in the game. You're going to really need that ship close by. You're going to need it to get out of here. You're going to need it for storage. You're going to need it to get out of the harsh weather. And you're going to need it to go back and forth to repair, obviously. And now with the scanner fixed, well, once the actual visor scanner's fixed, um, whatever they call it, you'll be actually be able to pinpoint where the ship is at all times. All right, here we go. Distress beacon. All right, we'll do a broadcast. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, all right, some broken down stuff. It's like everything, because from the crash, everything 
Everything got scattered. All right, we can't do anything without an Atlas Pass. Carbon, some carbon. Damage container. Stick it in the exosuit, or the, um, what do you call it? Ship. As long as you're in the area of the ship, you can store stuff to it. You don't have to actually be on it. Um. All right. Usually this is a save thing, right? Light. Oh, when you get in and out of your ship, it's an auto save. I forgot to tell you that. Okay. Oh, pick it up. What is this here? So some stuff you could just pick up by holding square. Oh, see? Some stuff you have to be mine with the beam, and you have to be careful because you'll run out of charge, and then you have to use carbon or some other source to charge your mining beam. And you can upgrade your scanner um, to do multiple things, and there's also, you'll see in the future, be able to actually shoot weapons with this thing instead of just mind beaming with it. Mm, here's inside of our starship, so we have a lot of stuff going on here that we have to repair with the exclamation mark, such as the launch thruster to be able to get it off the ground, the pulse engine, which is like the motor. Um, and then you have, the, of course, your storage, your technology um, inside your exosuit, which is a lot of your storage. And also your support for staying alive. See, I'm at 75% right now. Um, my hazard protection is at 11. All right. I found myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here and no sense of a before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet. And this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. All right, repair ship systems. All right, self protocol initiated. Please, all right, pulse engine critically damaged. Provide space and atmospheric flight propulsion. System is highly damaged and requires metal plating and a hermetic seal to repair. Launch thruster critically damaged. Press square to exit. Alright, so here's the inside of our ship. This looks fucking awesome in VR, by the way. If you ever get a chance to play this with a VR headset, it's awesome. Um, so it should auto-save. Yep. Okay. So, recommended repair ship engines. Repairing the starship requires a mix of crafted products. Salvaged items and advanced refined substances. Repair pulse engine metal plating. Okay. So collect fairy dust. We did a ferrite dust. Fairy dust. All right. Using. Mm. Okay. Okay. So we can make this. Awesome.
All right, Paul, there's a pulse engine. Yep. All right, so check mark for the metal plating. Now we need the, the her hermetic seal. Okay. So part of it's fixed. Functional. Alright, vital ingredients missing. <laughs> Reveals hermetic seal in this nearby salvage planetary chart and distress beacon cache. Repair launch thrusters, dehydrogen de jelly, and pure ferrite. Planetary chart. Okay. I never seen that. Uh, let me. Let me um, auto save. Discoveries. Let's see. Yeah, you, that's another thing, too. You get points for discoveries and for checking off discoveries for each planet. Um, it's divided into categories. Flora, fauna, minerals. Oh, well... Uh, once the scanner's fixed, um, you'll be able to actually scan, you'll see, um, animals and stuff with a special scanner. That's pretty neat. Here's all your raw materials in here. Crafted products shows you everything. Shows you what you can craft. Equipment. Constructed technology. And believe me, you'll be using all this in this game, too. Cooking products. So some of the stuff we have already. Milestones. You'll get milestones for just walking. 
for exploring, for, you know, the amount of steps you walk. It calculates everything. Getting around, making discoveries, feeding creatures. Oh, yeah, they're, yep, you could feed creatures. You could get them to be friendly. Learning words. So, like, later on when you meet aliens and stuff, you'll be able to actually talk to them and learn their language. All right, so let's see here. All right, so we need this here, which is what we're after next. And then we're going to have to do this here. Hydrogen jelly. I think you have to make this somehow. Support's back at a hundred. I like to before I go out on a, like a big adventure, and I have like a, a mission. I like to make sure that everything is pretty much fully charged. It's just what I do. We have fifty-eight of these. We charge this, we can. Okay. And our rhyming bean is 100% too. I mean, it would have been fine. We could do it on the way, but. All right, guys. That is it for the first episode. I'm getting Texas and uh, I got to do some errands. We got the checkpoint. I believe that's the material that we're going to need for the next step. Then we're going to head back to the starship, try to get this thing afloat. <laughs> and once we get this, this sucker off the ground, I I would like to get off this planet because this is a pain, in, what they call a pain in the ass planet. Maybe get the resources that we need off this planet first because some, some planets have resources that you can only get off a certain planet. So get, you know, loot this place as much as we can and then take off and continue on with the, uh, with the playthrough, okay? Get some materials, get some things fixed, do some exploring, um, relearn everything, get used to everything, and then be on our way. Let me actually uh, get out of here. All right. Restore points saved. I thought there was an actual beacon that actually you touch and it automatically saves. Unless I don't, I don't have it unlocked yet, possibly. Hmm. Okay. Oh, maybe I need the, um, you know what? Maybe I need the Atlas Pass. Okay. All right. Yeah. The game was last saved 41 seconds ago. Okay. That works. <laughs> you don't want to lose progress in this game. Let me tell you. Okay, thank you for joining me for this first episode of Let's Play No Man's Sky with Sean Murray. Can't wait. We got some exciting things happening on this show, and um, we'll be on some good missions on the next one. I'm going to make sure the next one's nice and long, and uh, we're going to get a lot done. This was like an intro. So take care, guys. Hope you're enjoying the game so far. Hope you're interested in it. Um, are you going to be checking out No Man's Sky? 
Is this your first time checking it out? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, and I'll be seeing you on the next episode and next video.